What's up guys, today I have our third installment of our series on Pixelmator Pro. This tutorial is gonna focus on what I think are two of the most magical tools in Pixelmator, which are the repair tool and the clone tool. We're gonna turn this crowded beach scene into this together. If you wanna follow right along with me, I will link to the Pixabay image that you can access for free down below in the description box. And if you're totally new to Pixelmator Pro and you don't know what I'm talking about, I would recommend you jump back to the first video in this series, which I will put a card to right here. Okay guys, let's just dive right into it. I've got the image we've downloaded right here in my downloads folder, and I'm just going to right click and open with Pixelmator Pro. Let's first start by using the repair tool, which allows you to select objects in an image and then eliminate them with the click of a button while filling in the background. It is an amazing, amazing tool. It uses machine learning to accomplish this. You can find the repair tool over here in your tools menu. It's the one that looks like a Band-Aid. When we click on it, our cursor turns into this circle here. And in the top right, you can see that we can expand or contract the brush size depending on the object we're trying to erase out. As a demonstration, I'm just going to focus on this ball here that's floating in the air. I'm gonna make sure that my cursor is big enough to surround the ball and I'm just gonna click on it and you'll see it briefly turns yellow and now it's completely gone. But I will tell you that the repair tool does have limitations. For instance, if we tried to paint out all of these people in this scene, because they're overlapping with the subject of our image that we wanna retain, it can get a little bit messy. So I'm gonna take an extra step so we preserve the subject, this little boy, in our photo, but are still able to erase everybody else from the background. So I'm going to reach for the quick selection tool, which you can find under this icon right here, or we can just hit the Q key to get that shortcut. I'm gonna scale up my brush size a little bit I don't want it to be too big because his legs are pretty thin down here. So I'm going to hover my cursor starting over at his head, hold down my mouse button and drag to select him entirely in yellow. I'm just going to do a pretty rough selection here and then we're gonna go in and fine tune. Okay, so I've got him all in yellow and now I'm going to zoom in on my canvas by hitting command and the plus key. And then I can navigate around my canvas while I'm zoomed in by holding down the space bar. My cursor turns into this little hand and then I can navigate around my image and see where I need to fine tune my cuts. So I can see here that I've clipped off part of his foot. I wanna make sure in the top right menu of Pixelmator that my quick selection tool is set to add and I'm going to drag more around his foot here. So I've selected that. And then if I look over at his other ankle, you can see I've actually accidentally selected. It looks like a bottle back there and, and some of the sand, and I wanna unselect that. So I could go back up to the top right of the screen and hit subtract, or I can hold down the option key. You might also know it as Alt, I think if you're in Europe. So I'm gonna hold that down and then select the area which I don't want to have selected anymore. And now I've deselected it. I'm gonna zoom back out and I'm going to select this button here, select and mask. And then under output, I'm going to put new layer with mask and then let's hit apply. And now let's head over to our layers pane so you can see what we've got here. My original image has been disabled, but it is still there. I know it's disabled because this little box is not checked. And then the next layer up is our image layer copy with a mask. So this is the cutout of this little boy. All right, I'm going to enable the image layer and disable the cutout of the little boy. Now it's not gonna look any different because the original image layer still has this little boy in the image. Now let's make sure we're selected on that original image layer. Enable the repair tool by hitting the R key. And now I'm gonna amp up my brush size a little bit because we've got some big images we wanna cut out of this frame. And what I'm going to do is just draw over everything I wanna pull out. And then when I release my mouse button, those images magically disappear. And I'm even gonna go over his leg. Now this looks very ugly. This is what I mean about the limitations of the repair tool, but don't worry, we're gonna fix it. And then there's one last person in the bottom left corner here we need to paint out. So obviously this image does not look amazing, but we're gonna fix it. We are going to use what's called the clone tool, which can be a little bit tricky to like get your head around, but once you understand how it works, you will use it all the time. So you can find the clone tool here under this icon, and the shortcut for the clone tool is O. And as soon as I enable the clone icon, I get this icon in the dead center of my image. 
the way the clone tool works is it lets you select part of an image and replicate it in another part of an image. So to select the part of the image that you want to replicate, you need to hold your cursor over that area and hit the option key. And now you can see that that circle with the crosshairs in the center has moved to the bottom left of my frame. I'm going to release that and I'm going to increase the brush size. I'm going to dial up my opacity all the way up. I'm gonna adjust the softness a little bit here. So let's start with filling in this horizon line on the ocean. I'm going to hold down the option key and I'm going to click so my crosshairs are like right at the top of the ocean line. Click once and now as I move my cursor, I'm not touching any buttons on my mouse. You can see my cursor has turned into the image where I selected originally. And I'm going to now decide where I wanna add this horizon line. Now I'm gonna hold down my mouse key and drag and fill in that horizon line. And you'll notice that there's a little set of crosshairs that are following my path. So it's not just taking that one image that we included in the circle and replicating it over and over. It's starting there and then my fill is gonna move along with those crosshairs as I drag my cursor. Okay, where his legs look really not right. We're going to paint this in with some sky. So again, I'm going to reach for the clone tool and I'm going to select part of this sky, holding down the option key, clicking up in the sky and just filling in here. Oh, now you can see what happened. I went so far with my cursor without releasing my mouse button that I ended up running into his leg here. So that's something you need to remember as you work. Your strokes can only be as long as the part of the image that is okay to sample from. So I can fix that by reselecting another part of the image, holding down the option key and just painting over that. And I'm gonna do a little bit more of him. All right, now you can see where I've cloned in the sky. You can see I've got some pretty like harsh edges here, they don't look great. We're going to smooth those out. Still again with the clone layer, we're just gonna change the settings a little bit. So I'm gonna hit O again to enable the clone layer. Let's go up to the top right of the screen and I'm going to dial down the opacity and crank up the softness. And then I'm gonna again clone and just use this tool to once again, soften out these lines. Holding down the option or alt key every time I wanna select a new part of the sky. And then for in between his legs here, I have kind of a harsh line. I'm going to reduce my brush size and sort of soften that up. You guys, while I'm fine tuning this blend here, if you like this video, let me know, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. All right, at this point, I think I'm ready to enable my boy cutout again. So I'm gonna head up to the layers panel and enable him. Now let's focus on this sand. Obviously this does not look right or natural. Let's look again at our original photo for reference. You can see that the sand is kind of sloping down. I don't think we're gonna be able to replicate that slope exactly, but we can make this look pretty natural using that clone tool. So what I'm going to do is make sure I'm selected on the original image layer. Let's enable the clone tool and let's play a little bit with our clone settings. I'm gonna dial down the softness really low. I want the opacity to be all the way up and the brush size pretty big. Big, not huge. Now I'm going to hover my cursor over a patch of sand, hold down the option key and then click on my mouse to sample it. And then I'm just going to draw in a bit of a slope here. So I feel like that shape looks pretty good, but obviously we have some cleanup to do here. I'm going to dial up the softness on the edges on this. I'm gonna dial down the brush size, reselect part of the sand, and then just keep picking sand, keeping my strokes reasonably short so I don't run out of real estate. And the last piece of cleanup we need to do is over here at the top of the sand hill. When we pulled out all of those people, the repair tool gave us some really weird lines here. So we're gonna clone part of the sky again to clean this up. So I'm gonna increase my brush size, decrease my softness really low, and keep my opacity all the way up, sample part of the sky, and just sort of paint that out nice and neat. And then of course, we need to just clean it up. So I'm going to reduce the brush size, crank up the softness, crank the opacity really low, sample part of the sky by holding down my option key, clicking on the area I wanna grab, and just with circular motions, paint out those harsh edges. All right, I think this all looks pretty great. The only thing that's bugging me is this little boy's foot. If you remember, there was another little boy running behind him and I think their hands and his foot have kind of gotten blended together. I'm going to make sure I'm selected on the layer of the cutout of our little boy. And I'm just gonna use the erase tool to clean this up. That's this button here, or of course the shortcut is E. I'm gonna crank the brush size way down. I'm gonna up the softness just a little bit. 
and I'm going to manually clean this up. And there you go, guys. I think this is quite a transformation from that image to this image. If you want to see more Pixelmator Pro tutorials, let me know down in the comments. Hit that subscribe button. I picked out some other videos I know you're going to love. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I'll see you again.